we possibly throwing a no growing party for our hair and we don't even know it? Today I'm going to be sharing five good habits that are not so good for natural hair growth, especially if growing your hair long is your priority. Welcome back to The Coily Code. I'm Charnel, and I was inspired to record this video because I went back in the time capsule of my college days and I remember when my hair got the longest it had ever been in my entire life. Some of you would probably be considered short, but for me, that was a milestone. I've never saw my hair at that length. When you're not used to having something that you've always wanted, there's so many chances for sabotage. Not only was I enjoying my hair at that stage, but I also didn't understand that in order for me to continue on in that route, it would require discipline. And that is the self-control piece I was missing at that time. It really encouraged me because I felt like all my hard work was finally paying off. But meanwhile, <laughs> because I was not operating in the spirit of self-control, I ended up sabotaging all of my hard work. And so I'm gonna share with you guys what those five good habits were and why they were good. My first good habit was over styling my hair. So once I got to this place with my natural hair, I wanted to try every style possible, possible, okay? I was doing twist outs. I was doing bantu knot outs. I was constantly wearing afros and I was over styling my poor hair i never gave it a break every night i would style it for the next day whether that was doing a twist a braid out a bantu knot out whatever it was i was over styling my hair how can you tell you're over styling your hair i think over styling is relevant to the person so i don't think there's a flat out definition about what it means or what is too much styling of the hair but i know because back then i didn't understand how to care for fine natural hair i also didn't again i have the mental maturity to have balance in my styling routine it was as fun as it was and it, I had so much fun styling my hair and I was getting a lot of compliments so it just really kept pushing me to keep styling it I didn't realize that that is actually very damaging so I had to learn for myself that styling my hair every day like every night to set overnight was not good and it just wasn't good. Now it felt good for me at the time, but girl, I was styling my hair every single night. That's crazy. The second good habit that I was doing was picking out my hair into an afro every other day. So I got the afro pick and I mean, you're talking about combing through my hair every single day. And I'm gonna tell you how I kept my afro from shrinking, but why was this a good habit? Well, because I'm a black woman and black women have afros and we're cute. And let me tell you guys, my afro was the talk of the town. My afro was in its own spotlight and it drew so much attention and so many people liked it and it made me feel really good. So I kept doing it, not realizing that the combing of the pick through fine natural hair, I'm, I guarantee I was breaking off strands of hair. I'm gonna ask God when I get to heaven, I wanna know exactly how many pieces of hair came off, not from shedding, but from that combing because that was too much. It was a severe level of combing and I wasn't being gentle. I was really getting as much of length out of my afro as possible and that was no bueno. But again, I thought I was fly and I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Which leads me to my third good habit. Girls, my third good habit, and this was my trick to keeping my afro from shrinking. Any of you can guess? Hairspray. So, of course, hairspray is full of alcohol, a lot of drying alcohols, because there are certain alcohols that can contribute to moisture retention and help a product spread and to create a better emollient. But no, not hairspray. Hairspray is drying. The whole point of it is to freeze the hair in the place that it's in to avoid it from moving, shrinking, frizzing, and so on. So after I would pick my hair to death to get that fro as voluminous as possible, and you wouldn't 
think that I had low density hair because my afro was so big. But that hairspray is what kept it from shrinking all day. Kid you not, my hair smelled like got to be freeze glued spray. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. And every other day, anytime I picked out my fro, that's how often I was also applying hairspray. And sometimes, even when I would go out for the evening, if that was my plan, I would apply a second coating of hairspray. I was, I was outside my mind. It was very extreme. I had no boundaries with myself when it came to how I styled my hair. That hairspray dried my hair out. I never at any point thought, and I would feel my hair and it was hard, crunchy, dry, felt like a tumbleweed. It might as well have been one. And I never thought to myself, gosh, my hair feels really dry. This is not good. I, girl, I was like, as long as the afro ain't shrinking, I am keeping this hairspray regimen going. And so if you're using a ton of hairspray, you're guaranteed to dry your hair out. And we have to remember the two main causes for unnecessary breakage, because hair is going to break. It's just going to, there's no ways around it. But the unnecessary breakage, the most common ones are due to dryness and over manipulation of the hair strands. And so a combination of the picking out of the fro and the dryness from the hairspray, no wonder my hair stopped growing. As so, so I thought at the time. <clears throat> the fourth good habit that kept my hair from growing or preventing me from retaining length was emotional or impulsive decision making. Now, I know what you're probably saying, Charnel, that is not a good habit. You gotta remember, part of us changing and maturing is being able to see what we thought was good and knowing that it wasn't. My younger self thought that it was good to make impulsive decisions, especially if the decision was beneficial towards me if it made me feel good if it made me feel confident if it made me feel amazing and i was very impulsive with my natural hair after the summer was over i went back into a regimen for about two months and then after two months i thought okay let me blow dry my hair again it should be long now when i blue dry my hair and straightened it my hair first of all my ends were horrible my hair had completely lost all that length that i had achieved and I emotionally said, I don't care anymore. So I began to straighten my hair every single week on a temperature of 450 degrees with my Izunami flat iron. I believe I still have it. It's hands down the best flat iron I ever owned. And I never got heat damage, which is crazy. But I was over heat styling my hair, but that was an emotional decision. I didn't care anymore about growing my hair. I was like, oh, okay, so the two months of the regimen didn't really recover all that length I had lost two months ago when I just destroyed three years worth of length. <laughs> that led me to adopt a regimen where I was straightening my hair every single week. And I mean flat iron curling iron wrapping the hair going under a blow dryer with saran wrap and wearing it down putting in clip-ins and repeat and i take my tsunami i tap the roots and then i go down slowly so that way i don't have to really take like and that cycle went on for for a while i didn't care anymore and this actually kept coming up because later on much many years later when i had been at this job that was just awful after i quit my job i went and relaxed my hair so emotional and impulsive decisions they feel good in the moment you're like i know this is good for me but after you sober up a little bit because emotions are like alcohol really it'll it'll literally create an imagination in your mind that's not real it creates feelings that are not real because once you come down from that high or that emotional high or that impulsive high you're left sober-minded looking like what did i just do so it's not really good although it feels good in the moment that's how any drug on earth feels alcohol cocaine no matter what whatever weed whatever it is sugar food <laughs> once you sober up you're left with facing the truth and the reality that you're very far behind more than you thought you were. And finally, the fifth good habit that I did that kept my hair from growing is putting product on your hair when it's 
tangled. Okay, in your head, the logic makes sense. Okay, my hair's tangled. If I put more product on it, that's gonna help with the slippage. That may help get the knots out. So that sounds logical, but actually it's not, especially for Afro textured, kinky, coily hair. The more product, the more water I'm applying to my tangled hair, the more it wants to shrink. <laughs> and because my hair shrinkage is a lot, I could spray water and it'll shrink, but it hasn't fully absorbed that water. So I'm applying more and it still wants to shrink and shrink and shrink. So that's dumb because if the hair is tangled and matted, you don't want it to shrink, you want it to stretch. This lesson was learned not too long ago in my natural hair setback when I had the flexi rod fail and I thought adding more product to my hair was gonna make it come out of those tangles and out of the mattedness, but nope. No good, no bueno. It definitely worsened the condition of my hair. Just to recap, overstyling the hair, nope. Combing the hair with a comb or pick, especially if you're doing an afro, no. Nope. Hairspray, emotional, impulsive decision making. And we just finished the last one, which is putting product on your hair when it's tangled. Avoid those at all costs. I know now that these things don't work for me because when I stopped doing them, I started to retain the length and the growth. But I will say, if you are someone who have noticed a slow growth or maybe a couple months have gone by and you're still not sure what's going on, blow dry your hair and look at your ends because I thought my hair stopped growing at one point in college and not even college, I had graduated from college and I thought my hair stopped growing. And I didn't realize that, well, your ends are dead and split. So it's probably breaking at those at that line of demarcation where the split is ending and that's why you're not retaining any length and again dryness and over manipulating of the hair are the two most common ways to incur unnecessary breakage and that's really going to prevent you from reaching your hair goal growth goals anyway you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye